Growing up, Jane Goodall loved animals, especially chimpanzees. In fact, she loved them so much, she decided to go to Tanzania in East Africa to study and live with them for 40 years. She is known for being the first person to study chimps in the wild and discovered that chimpanzees have emotions, use tools, and even eat meat. Today, we're going to draw one of Jane's much-loved chimpanzees. To draw the chimpanzee, I'm going to start with my black marker or crayon, and I'm going to draw the top of a heart, so two curved lines together. Now I'm going to draw a U underneath to connect them. Then I'm going to draw another curved line over the top. This is the top of the head. Followed by two half circles for the ears on either side. And then I'm going to go around and connect the ears to make the chimpanzee's head. I'm adding two little rainbows inside the ears. Now I'm going to draw a big oval and I really want this to fill my page. So I'm making it big, 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 big. From there, I'm going to draw the arms. So I'm drawing two lines next to each other. Those are parallel lines. My legs, which I'm actually having my legs go off the page, which is just fine. And the tail. So there's my chimpanzee's tail. Now, for this second arm, I'm going to draw two lines up, but I'm not going to connect them yet. Now, let's draw the tree that this chimpanzee is hanging on. I started at the top, and then I made a diagonal line up, and now I'm drawing a second one, and I'm going to go down again. So try to line it up. Do your best. Now draw a little U, and look at that. My chimpanzee is hanging from a tree. All right, now I'm going to draw the eyes and the eyebrows of my chimpanzee. So I drew a little bit of a unibrow, however you want to do it. There's my nose. And finally, a smile. Next up, I'm going to add some texture. Remember, texture is what something feels like. And sometimes we can't have real texture. I don't have real chimpanzee fur, but I can draw these tiny little lines so that it kind of looks like the chimpanzee has a lot of fur on. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going fast so that you can see kind of where my lines are going and what it looks like. So feel free to pause here or pause once I'm finished so that you can draw these same lines of texture on your chimpanzee. Once I'm finished with the fur, I'm gonna draw a horizontal line along the back of my paper and I'm gonna jump over any monkeys. Now, I'm ready to start coloring. And what I decided to do for this project for me is I'm only using two colors. I'm using green and I'm using brown. And I want to see how many different values of the color, and a value is just like different shades of the color, how many different kinds of green and brown I can get into my picture. So I'm starting with my brown marker. And you can see I was really light on the tree, but now I'm making big, thick chisel strokes, pressing on the side of my marker where it's nice and thick to really fill in my chimp. You can either follow along or you can do something different. If you don't have markers or you don't have crayons, use what you have. Art in this case is always about using what you have and just being creative and problem solving. What can you use? If you don't have one thing, what can you use instead? Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the brown and I'm gonna color in the inside of his face with the brown crayon because again, 
I don't like using marker on the face because then I lose all those facial features. I want to be able to see what my monkey looks like. Once I'm done with the chimp, I'm also going to color in the tree trunk with my brown marker. I'm sorry, my brown crayon. I already used the brown marker. Woohoo! I'm losing it. That's okay. All right, color in your tree trunk. Color in your monkey. I've only used brown so far. Time for green. I'm gonna start with my green marker and I'm gonna add some leaves to the tree. Okay, I'll go back for the brown, but only because I'm gonna add another branch so that I can have more place to put my leaves. My green leaves, I noticed that the green marker is really nice and dark. And now let's see what the, oop, I have another green marker. So this is my yellow green and it's lighter, but it still is like really dark and like thick on the page. It really colors it in. There's no white spots wherever I put marker. Now let's see what happens with the crayon. So I'm getting a whole variety of green or blue green and I'm gonna start coloring in my background. I'm gonna do a darker green on the bottom and then more colorful green like different greens all blended together in that top section let's see how it goes see how yours turns out i can't wait to see There you have it, your very own Jane Goodall chimpanzee.